afternoon good morning good evening not quite sure what time it is guys but um losing track of time uh, we're going to take you through a warm-up for the boxing session today uh, we'll do it as follows so we're going to start with some side shuffling and some backwards and forwards movements um in a little star shape and we'll do that for 20 seconds of work rest for 10 seconds we're just going to usually get our heart rate up and it looks like this We'll do that for 20 seconds of work, rest in for 10 seconds, and we'll repeat that again. Good stuff. Slowly now, you should be feeling your heart rate starting to rise. All the times we're working through this, we want to make sure that our feet are staying in a relatively athletic position. As we do that, we want to make sure that our feet stay in a good set position all the time, that we don't narrow our stance too much, that we don't cross over our feet, and that we're nicely balanced all of the time. We're then going to use a little crawl and lunge sequence, which we'll do as follows. Down in a good crawl position, making sure that our shoulders and hips stay square all the time and we'll run back to where we started. Then we'll do the crawl and we'll do it backwards. And then as we lunge back this time, we we'll lunge with our hands up over our head. Down, do a full press up, walk your feet in towards your hands, and then walk on out. Again, out, with a press. I'll just do that side on for you as well so you can see what the variations look like side on. Knees just off the floor, back nice and flat, or we crawl the distance that we need. Once you crawl the distance that you need, you'll walk in lunge back to where we started. Then we'll crawl backwards. Again, keeping that back nice and flat, knees nice and low to the ground. Then we come up our lunges now. We'll walk back to where we started with a raise over our head to open up through the hips and through the shoulders and in the final crawl variation we'll start with the press up in whichever format you need it and from that long plank position walk your feet in as far as you can walk your hands back out complete another press up and work your way across to the end and hopefully having worked through that we should find ourselves warm and ready to box Okay guys, now we've done the warm-up, we're going to get into the main body of the workout today. And the great thing about this is, is if you're on your own, you can do this as shadow boxing, you can hold some light dumbbells, you can hold uh, some bottles of water, some, uh, some tins from the cupboard if you want to, to perform this. If you're lucky enough to be on your own but you've got a heavy bag, you can put your gloves on and you can go to town on the heavy bag. Um, if you're you and your your wife, your partner, your significant other, your better half, um, and you've got gloves and focus pads, you can do exactly the same thing there because the work to rest ratios will be exactly the same. The rounds today will be two minutes long. 
and you will take 30 seconds rest in between the rounds. Now, if you're doing um, uh, this with gloves and pads under the partner, you've got a choice to let the person do all five rounds first uh, and then switch, or you can alternate. But you're obviously gonna end up going for 10 rounds instead. And what we're gonna do today is you'll start the timer and you will box for that amount of time using the combinations you can see on your screen. And after you've thrown a number of punches, I want you to move. So what an example of that would look like is, I throw a one, two, one, two, and then I'm going to move around, get set again, and I'm going to throw a one, two, three, back, 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 and then I'm going to move. All the time making sure that I don't cross my feet over, I don't shorten the distance, I don't get too big, so I struggle to have the mobility that I need. Uh, all the time thinking about the technical element of the punches as well. I might throw a one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, and then move. One, one, two, move. And all you're going to do for the round is work hard. If you're boxing on your own in your shadow boxing, just be aware of the pace that you use. Two minutes is quite a long time to keep that level of intensity up. Uh, same thing if you're working on the bag. Just be wary of not gassing yourself out too quickly uh, and knowing that we've got five rounds to get through. Uh, if you're doing this on gloves and pads, just be wary of how quickly you're calling those numbers, especially if, uh, if you've got somebody who's relatively new. And also bear in mind that what goes around comes around. If you're really mean to your workout partner, they're going to be really mean to you as well. What we're looking at doing today is five two minute rounds with 30 seconds of rest.
Okay, now that you've finished the five rounds of your shadow boxing or your bag work or your pad work, we're now going to do just some less technical work and really just think about a really high work rate. The combination that we're going to use is four uppercuts, left, right, left, right, into four straight shots, left, right, left, right. So it'll look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember to breathe all the time. Staying nice and relaxed. Getting used to the combination of letting your hands go faster and faster. We're going to use a Tabata timer for this, which means that you're going to do eight rounds of 20 seconds work of high intensity work. Take 10 seconds rest. And I'll put the timer on the screen in just a second. Just remember with the high intensity stuff, guys, just like when you throw in big punches, there's a habit of people holding their breath. Oxygen is the fuel for the muscles, okay? It's, it, it helps you to function. We know that uh, it's uh, um, quite a vital part of our, uh, of our daily functioning breathing. If I forget to breathe, I'm gonna, this, this work's gonna get harder very, very quickly and very uncomfortable. So just make sure that every time we're breathing, all of the time as we're punching okay and just remember this is a, a little bit um more about the grunt work and the number of volume of punches that you can get in not so much around uh, your technical proficiency or your the power that you're producing we just want to see lots of hand speed and lots and lots of work
Okay, a little bit of body weight conditioning to finish off, guys, okay? We're gonna do four exercises and do four Tabata rounds for each one. So it's going to be hard, but it needs to be high intensity and done and executed really well, okay? We're gonna use press-ups, body weight squats, a mountain climber, and Russian twists as, as the final exercise. You'll do 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds rest, four times with press-ups, then you move on to your squats and do four rounds of squats. Then you move on to the mountain climbers and then you'll move on to the Russian twists you know, to finish. I'll show you what the four exercises look like um, and then you can get to work. So with your press up, it's key that you do the variation that's right for you. Okay, a full press up, you want our hands stacked under our shoulders. We want to make sure that up in this position that I'm fully engaged through my midline, making sure that my tail's not sticking up in the air and the shoulders are roughly level with my hips. From here, I aim to get chest and hips to the floor and press back to the top. If you're struggling with that or you're finding that at 10, 12 seconds in, you're starting to snake off the floor or cheat the depth, all I need you to do is drop down so you can carry on pressing out some good reps. As for the squat, your feet will want to be somewhere around about just wider than shoulder width apart, okay, for me, that's outside of the shoulder, equals inside of the foot, and you squat to wherever's comfortable here, guys, okay? That squat can be a full depth squat, it can be somewhere around about parallel, it can be parallel to the floor, or it can be more like 90 degrees. It needs to be pain-free, but I need to see the reps being pushed out all the time making sure my entire foot's grounded to the floor and that my whatever my toe is pointing to allow me to squat comfortably that's exactly where my knees go with the mountain climber we're going back to the press up position and again we're going to do this for speed as a conditioning exercise okay in that press up position i'm going to start with one foot forward and one back and we're going to change and switch the feet over I'm aiming to get as many steps into that 20 second timer as possible. And then we're going to finish off with the Russian twist. <clears throat> with that Russian twist, I can do this with my feet on the floor, but I'm going to keep my hands in front of my sternum to start with. I'm going to turn and aim to touch the floor. Come back and turn. The more I lean back, the more I'm going to load through the abs your anterior chain. Okay, we're gonna make sure that we don't shorten that lever and compress. I sit tall all the time and I turn and I touch either side. If you have a small weight, you can use that. We can also challenge a little bit more by bringing the feet off the floor. That then gives the hip flexors and the lower abdominals. We just wanna make sure that we're not dumping into our lower back at any point. We wanna sit tall and as we're rotating, I'm not just moving my hands side to side, I am rotating and turning my torso as much as I can into that rotation. Four 20 second rounds of press ups. No rest. You get 10 seconds rest between each 20 seconds. 20 seconds of press ups, 10 seconds of rest. Do that four times. Then straight it onto your feet. Do 20 seconds of squats with 10 seconds rest four times. Back down into the press up position. 20 seconds of mountain climbers with 10 seconds rest four times. And in the final 10 seconds rest, you're transferring from the mountain climber into the Russian twist, adding a little bit of load if you've got it. Something small is absolutely fine. Doesn't need to be very heavy. A kilo or two or three is absolutely plenty. And then working through that rotation to build some core strength and some rotational power.
slightly different boxing workout to what you had last week, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I uh, hope you found it useful, especially some of the educational stuff we posted on uh, on boxing stance and how to throw punches. If you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out and DM us um, around anything. And just know also that uh, every day, well, Monday through Saturday, we've got our coach's corner where uh, one of us will be uh, picking up the Instagram account and allowing you to fire away questions around anything that you've got uh, on your minds at the moment regarding your your own physical activity, your, uh, your health, your physical health, your mental health, uh, how to optimize your sleep, your nutrition, whatever strategies you're trying to put in place to stay fit and healthy at this time. Um, but please reach out to us. We are, um, we're missing working with you guys and uh, looking forward to seeing you all soon once this is all over. Take care.